Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Some exciting news. You'll be able to get a free game on Steam to own tomorrow, celebrating the 10th anniversary of a game that I rave about pretty often on this channel. And as soon as you get it for free tomorrow, that's it. It's yours to own forever. We'll talk about that. New event going on on Steam right now. I know some people are completely crapping on it, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about that, and also Xbox Game Pass getting a nice little update for the latter half of May. Definitely a smaller update in terms of Game Pass updates, but we'll talk that at the end of this video. First of all, Metro Last Light celebrating its 10th anniversary tomorrow, and it will be free on Steam. Metro's Twitter account put out, Immerse yourself in the year 2034. You are the last light in the darkest hour. To celebrate Metro Last Light's 10th anniversary, the original complete edition of the 2013 game will be available for free on Steam from May 18th to the 25th. Set your watches and stay tuned. Now, Based on the image that they posted and based on the fact that they note that it's the original complete edition, I'm led to believe that this isn't the Redux release. I don't know that to be a fact because if memory serves me correctly, Last Light's original release isn't even listed on Steam anymore. So I'll see how that turns out. We'll figure that out for sure tomorrow. Either way, if you're getting Metro Last Light for free, you should definitely take advantage of it. I know it's been free, I believe, on the Epic Game Store before, but some of you guys don't want to, you know, <laughs> let us be real. Some of you guys don't like to pick up games, even if they're free on the Epic Game Store. Last Light's a tremendous game, an incredibly atmospheric first-person uh, shooter, a great visuals. I remember back when this came, a game originally came out in 2013, uh, a game that really brought PCs to its knees. I think it's one that really utilized Phys X, and that was still very much early on, and yeah, you guys see kind of some of this early on hardware, uh, especially with like ray tracing these days, it just obliterates PCs. Nevertheless, Metro Last Light is a great game. Not super lengthy, you can probably complete it in, you know, 9 to 10 hours, but I really enjoyed it. Obviously, incredibly narrative driven. Uh, I would recommend you to play Metro 2033 first if you have the opportunity to do so. If not, I know 2033 isn't free right now, so, uh, you know, it is what it is, but Last Light will be free tomorrow. I'll give that another mention. Uh, throughout the week, I'll mention it just so uh, all of you guys can redeem it. Remember, it'll be available for that week, 18th to the 25th. But um, once you add it to your library, it's yours to own forever. And uh, yeah, make sure you get on that because why not get a great game for free? Definitely something worthwhile to check out there. All right, moving on from that, Steam Sports Fest is live right now. This kicked off back on May 15th and it will be running until May 22nd. Look, I know what you guys are thinking, bro. Sports games, really? However, sports games do have a little bit more depth than just your FIFAs and your NBAs of the world. Even though FIFA and NBA are prominently featured as a part of this sports festival, you know, the top two games, FIFA 23, 70% off at $21, 84% off for 2K23 of NBA for $9.59. There's other sports games that might be more up your alley. You have a game like Steep done by Ubisoft. That's 85% off for $4.49, an extreme sports Sports games where you have a variety of different, uh, I guess you could say sports and whatnot. You know, you can uh, be on skis, wingsuits, snowboards, and paragliders. $449 and then the gold edition for $749. I think that's actually a pretty decent little deal there. Um, you know, received fairly well. And it's one of those games that I thought was going to be more popular than it ended up being. But, you know... Steep as a sports game is far different than your FIFAs or NBAs of the world, where FIFA and NBA, um, you know, very much uh, geared towards people that are a fan of those respective sports. Steep, on the other hand, yo, are you really, like, Steep isn't just made for people that are, uh, you know, into paragliding and uh, skiing and whatnot, wingsuit flying. Uh, you can be into a variety of different things and still enjoy Steep, even if you're not into any of that, you know. It, it, it executed in video games way different than doing it in real life or being a fan of it in real life the hunter call of the wild 70 percent off for six dollars football manager 23 a 40 percent off for 36 dollars undisputed is down to 24 bucks ww2k 23 at 45 dollars for that is way too pricey in my opinion like that's on sale for an even steeper discount over at like green man gaming Tape to Tape, which is in early access right now, but if you're a fan of, like, throwback hockey games, and hockey, you know, unlike NBA and FIFA, I feel like hockey is one of those sports that, like, uh, it being executed in a video game, like, Tape to Tape is reminiscent of, like, NBA Jam, so to speak, like, where NBA Jam is a game that you don't have to be a basketball fan to really enjoy NBA Jam. That's the vibe I get from Tape to Tape, so that's available. EA Sports PGA Tour, which just came out, 40% off for $42, uh, 
to, uh, Tiger Woods 2K23, uh, PGA Tour 2K23, I should say, 1979 on that session. Skateboarding title, 50% off for 1999. Golf with your friends, 67% off for 494. So, you know, some notable stuff there. Games to check out as far as uh, the Sports Fest goes. And, uh, you know, they have a lot of discounts running right now on a plethora of sports games. They even have, like, Captain Tsubasa, Rise of New Champions, like the anime. Like, that's 85% off for $9. So, you know, that's something to check out as well. So, so there you go with that. Lastly, I do want to give you guys a heads up on a smaller Xbox Game Pass update for sure. Speaking of which, FIFA 23 is available through a Game Pass right now. So if you don't want to spend the $21, um, you know, Game Pass is a pretty good option. It's because uh, the game is also included with EA Play now, so that's something to consider. So FIFA 23 being added. Eastern Exorcist, which is a game that a lot of you guys probably don't know about, but look it up and I feel like a lot of you guys will immediately be interested in this game. Awesome visual style to it. A stunning 2D side-scrolling action RPG set in a fantasy Eastern world with the vicious spirits and monsters plays a skilled exorcist against a chaotic evil to fight your way through the brutal world and experience different stories of joy and sorrow. I had a very positive reception, 5700 reviews 85 percent of those reviews are positive been on my wish list for quite a while definitely i'm gonna be checking it out i don't know if i'm gonna be checking it out via game pass right away but uh one that definitely i think will have some interest ghost lore on console available now with pc game pass as well um it will be coming to xbox for the first time planet of lana that'll be coming may 23rd it's coming soon to xbox game pass a cinematic puzzle adventure lana and her companion mew go on a voyage of discovery that'll take them across a strange and magical world cassette beast which is already available on pc coming to consoles massive chalice coming to cloud and console uh, Railway Empire 2, uh, Cloud Console and PC, and then Chicory, A Colorful Tale, coming to console and PC as well. That'll be coming at the end of the month, though, on May the 30th. Some DLC and game updates, Sea of Thieves, The Hoarder's Hunt, and then Age of Empires 2, Definitive Edition, Return to Rome. That'll be added as well. Game Pass members can save 10% Return of Rome. Brings the original Age of Empires into Age of Empires 2, Definitive Edition, as a brand new self-contained experience. And then uh, Game Pass Ultimate Perks, FIFA 23, Ultimate Team Pack, I guess, and then Smite and... And uh, V Shoujo starter pack. So if you're into that, leaving Game Pass will be Europa Universalis, Evil Genius 2, FIFA 21, Floppy Knights, and Lawn Mowing Simulator, which I'm sure will tug at the heartstrings of many. But that is the Game Pass update for the latter half of uh, May. Kind of a lighter update, but not going to have bangers. And, you know, earlier this year, you already did have Atomic Heart. You had Wolong Long Fallen Dynasty. And, uh, you know, they've been fairly consistent with a game pass so one quieter month isn't going to be the end of the world but that's going to do it for me again metro last light will be free on steam tomorrow awesome game strong recommendation to check it out sports fest going on on steam right now check that out and then coming soon to game pass some notable titles definitely uh chicory a colorful tale that's a really well received game eastern exorcist might be one that surprised you planet of lana brand new release so you can check that out that'll do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.